hopefully I am focused because I'm using my old camera right now and the autofocus has been broken for like three years on that. That's why I got the new camera, but uh, left the batteries in Florida. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Bo. I'm a singer, songwriter, and college student and today I'm going to be doing a haul. I picked up a bunch of clothes while I was on vacation. I usually don't shop this much. I don't really know what happened. All the things I needed to replace kind of wore out at the same time. I should also mention that most of the clothes I got are discounted because I got them from places like Marshalls or Nordstrom Rack or other outlet stores. We have a giant outlet mall that we love to go to in Florida and that is why I was able to buy the clothes. I would have never bought all these clothes at full price, at least not at the same time. So that is why I kind of have a big haul for you today. So I'm not trying to brag, nothing like that, but I thought I should show you all the clothes I got as well as do some try-ons. So let's get into it. Hard to decide where I should start, but I think I'm gonna start with Marshalls. So the first thing I got is this dress. It is a white navy blue and baby blue striped dress. It's so pretty. It's a maxi dress. I really love it and I think it fits pretty well. I wear these a lot in the summer when I'm performing for the gig that I do and hopefully the ones that I'm going to continue to schedule. Cross your fingers. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy it. I think it looks really great and I honestly can't wait to wear it even though I have to wait like months to do it. Yay, Ohio. Next is also a more summery piece so I figured I'd just get it out of the way. I got these shoes. They're by the brand Rock and Candy but they're basically just these like camel colored heeled sandals and I really like them. Um, I think they will go with that dress nicely and I also work at a little boutique in the summer, so it's nice to have like kind of fancy but slightly summery, like casual-ish shoes. Next is this top I'm really excited about. This is from the brand Free People, and it's this long oversized shirt. It's gray, it's got this pocket, some cool like layering going on. I'm not really totally sure, but I love the way Free People things are made. They just last really long. It's just something easy to throw on that looks a little more put together than like a baggy sweatshirt, so I thought I should pick it up. Speaking of easy to throw on things, the next item is probably one of my favorites that I got on the trip. This is a sweatshirt and it looks kind of playing from the front. But on the sides, it's got like this lilac high detail going up the arms, which is really cool. And on the back, it just says girl power. And yeah, I didn't think it was too cheesy because I see a lot of like cool girl power and like, you know, empowering shirts that are like really cheesy. And I'm like, I don't want to wear that. But I think this one's cool and I like how it's like subtle, but it's really nice. Next is something I'm also very, very excited about. Again, one of my favorite purchases. I kind of love everything though, so I might say that a lot. These are my new black jeans. They're super cute and um, the try-on will do them more justice. But I basically, like everyone, I feel like have an extremely hard time finding jeans that like fit right, that I feel really comfortable in. I genuinely really like these. I actually feel like they flatter me. They're a little expensive even for me because at Marshalls they were $60. I know a lot of people pay more for that for jeans, but kind of cheap <laughs> and I don't have a lot of money. But yeah, they just fit me so well. Basically, my mom was like, no, we, we can't pass these up. These are super cute. Yeah, I picked these up and totally in love with them. The next things I'm going to show kind of all at once. So I decided to pick up some leggings. <laughs> Marshalls, perfect place to do that. I feel like this is an ad for Marshalls, but literally perfect place to do that. Picked up a full length black pair by Reebok. I picked up this dark heather gray pair by a brand called 90 Degree. Half length purple ones by a brand called Apana with little stripe details in the back. These mauve ones by the brand Layer 8 and they have cool breathable material in the back. And finally I picked up some half length black leggings again with the tie detail um, by the brand Apana. Okay, last thing from Marshalls, I got these adorable Oxford shoes. I cannot tell you how excited I was to find these. They're by the brand Franco Sarto and they're all man-made materials. They are shiny, so they'll actually wipe down nice. I'm really excited about that because suede just does not fare well in sludge and snow that we have in our lovely Ohio weather. <laughs> Can you tell I wish I was still in Florida? Next, I got a bunch of shoes from different stores um, that were all outlets. I just like shopping at outlets. It's cheap, okay? So first, I got some Adidas Cloud Foam. I know they're like the basic shoe, but I honestly 
love them a lot I got them in all white the really popular ones are the ones with the stripes either like rose gold or black but I really like the all white ones all white dad shoes are in and I'm like not brave enough in my fashion to try out the dad shoes <laughs> so I really like these and they were on sale for like $40 which I thought was a really good deal now we are moving from Midwest basic to California basic I got a pair of the white high top covers. I've never owned a pair of these, but a lot of people around me do, and I'm always wishing I had them. So I decided to get them. Again, pretty basic, nothing new here. Next in basic shoes, we have some black and white covers. These are great because they say, yes, I am still basic, but at one point in time, I did listen to My Chemical Romance. Yeah, there's not much to say. I got these for Christmas, actually. Didn't do a Christmas haul because we leave for Florida on Christmas, so. And those always just feel weird. I don't know why. I'm, I I have divorced parents, so like, I get double the presents. It feels weird filming that. So anyways, these black and white shoes, basics, duh. Next, I got a pair of heels. These are actually from Bloomingdale's. I got these because I don't have any basic black heels. Actually, counter that, I do, but they are from my senior year homecoming. They're still cute, and I've only worn them once that homecoming because they're five inches, and I am not that good at walking in them. So I decided to get a little more of a um, conservative heel with a chunky one because I'm not coordinated. So these are super cute. They have this great ruffle design. I think they're super unique. I really like them. Last pair of shoes, I promise, from the Nike outlet. I got a pair of Nike Renews. So they're super cool. I really like the way they look because I think they look kind of like Roches, but like they actually have the support. Like you can actually work out in them unlike Roches, you know? They look nicer to wear around if I want to like go for that athleisure style. Not that I often do because it, it it's not really athleisure. It's like leggings and a 10 year old sweatshirt. You can't call that athleisure, it's just like lazy hobo, you know? Next, I have something from the Papaya outlet. So the first thing I got is these super cute shorts. I wore them in Florida. Again, can't wait until this summer. Little sad about that, but they're adorable and they were only 10 bucks. My little brother, when he was littler, like when he was four, he's eight now, used to say, I don't like crunchy pants and wouldn't wear jeans. He would only wear like these kind of things that are like not sweatpants but feel like you're wearing sweatpants. That's the kind of vibes I want to go into 2019 with these. They're super stretchy and they give you that cinched waist and look super flattering but they also like give me a butt. Two things I don't have, you know? Next I got this cool striped yellow shirt. Now I used to stay away from yellow because of my hair but lately I've been getting some different shades because I think I can actually pull it off more than I thought I could. The shades that actually wash me out are super super tan blush shades. Can't do those. But yellow actually isn't as bad as long as it's dark enough. And it's got the little lettuce hem that's super cute. So I love it. Wow, this haul is getting long, I'm sure. Also, there's this weird glare from my window. Sorry about that. And the last thing I got was just a short sleeved lettuce hem tee and it's just black. I really enjoy this. I have a long sleeve turtleneck like this, but I thought this would be a great basic to add to my wardrobe. Okay, next is from Francesca's. Now I got a couple accessories there. So I got this pair of sunglasses um, for $10. I think they're super cute and they're tan, so they'll go with so many clothing items. They just they're really cute, so. I got this super cute choker. It just has these little circle chains on it and it's layered, I really love this. Next, I got this plain gold bracelet. It has little fake diamonds on it and I just think it's super cute and delicate. Last two things from Francesca's are these hair bows. I have a friend named Isabel and she wears these all the time. She rocks these and I love them, so I decided to like copy her style. Hope you don't mind, Isabel. I got this adorable striped one that's in a bunch of different colors and then I also got this lavender one that's like more the traditional bandana. So the last items I got were from Nordstrom Rack. I'm gonna start off with accessories again. The first thing I got, another one of those hair bows, but it's in orange. Again, the bandana style. I think it's super cute and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Then I also got these super cool like tortoise shell earrings that have this gold detail on top. I love these, especially because they're not actually hoops. Um, they just have the regular backs, so I think they're super cute, and I've been looking for um, some more dangly earrings. Next, I got this pink shirt. It seems like a different choice from the rest of the items in this haul. But I am a business student. I go to the Ohio State University, and we have business fairs and everything, and I 
don't have a lot of business professional clothes and to go to our job fairs we have to wear business professional and if I plan to do interviews I'm gonna need it that kind of thing. So I really only had one business professional shirt so of course I wear a blazer over this um, and dress pants but I thought I should pick it up because I thought it was super cute. Next thing my mom made me try on and I'm really actually glad she did because she said she had something like this when she was in college. Showing up a different color on camera, but it is this army green dress. I don't even know what you call it, like a safari dress. It just looks like I'm some professor in the jungle, like doing research on some kind of something. I don't know. I can't wait to style it, probably with sneakers. Um, I'm obviously gonna get more use in the summer, but I love it a lot and thank you, mom, for forcing me to try this on. Okay, last two items are Dresses. I am going to be rushing this semester. Um, I don't know totally. I don't really have anyone in my family that rushed except my dad was in a fraternity, but that was like way back in the day, you know. But I have decided to and on the last day, um, which is house tours, you have to wear like a formal dress. So I have two picked out, which I really like and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna wear. Yeah, I'll let you know. I think I'm going to be doing a like outfits of the week for rush. Um, even though ours takes place over two weekends, not one traditional week. But anyways, these are the two dresses I picked out, so. The first one is this blush one. Um, it's just pink enough and not too nude that I can kind of get away with it um, without it washing me out. And it also has these really beautiful gold details. Um, it's short and I love it a lot. This is kind of the more subdued one. And then I have the one that I feel like is more me but might be too much, you know? Maybe I should go with this because like, I'm a little much as a person. So it's this beautiful black dress. It's got this mesh top and then the sweetheart neckline and then it just flows out and has this beautiful embroidery on the side. It's T length, it's gorgeous. I love it a lot. It's just me. Like I just really, really feel comfortable in it. So I love both dresses so much. I think they both look super cute. There's things I love about both. I don't know what I'm choosing. So comment below. Tell me which one you think I should pick for that last day. The description said something you would wear to graduation or a fancy wedding. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm curious. So that is all I got. Thank goodness. I could not go on for longer. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had fun filming it, obviously, and buying the excessive amount of clothing that I probably shouldn't have got. If you did, please subscribe. It helps out a ton so you can see more videos like this. Also, original songs and get ready with me and college videos, everything in between. Subscribe so you can see that. Give this video a like because it helps out small channels like this one. And comment down below, tell me one, which dress should I wear, pink or black, and two, what your favorite item was. Um, just curious. And also, if you would like to keep up with me, you can follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram at YTSarahBow. I hope you have an amazing day. See you later. Bye.